Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> Let's get this thing rolling. We got some catching up to do, chat. How are y'all? How are y'all? Good morning. Let me see all these. Let me see all these resubs. That's what happens when I'm off for a week. I love y'all so much. Thanks for hanging out. Test, 31 months. Love your face. Thunder Viking, 32 months. We back. Zero wins. Got the zero wins emote for the Thunder Viking. Chad with the three months of sub and power belly, 35 months. Love Loveless, 24 months. Amiki Winter Vlad, 12 months. Get a pet, 17 months. Level two hype train. Let's go. Let's go. We back. We back. It was a good week off. It is really, really hyped to be back. Really, really hyped to be back. Plus, we got emotes. We got emotes to play with. So y'all can go in there. Um, we got a bunch of bunch of new emotes from uh, Sleepy Bird Art. Um, so you can uh, you can check those out. Um, if you're a subscriber, you have a bigger batch of emotes. If you're not a subscriber, there's some so there's some new emotes for you to play with in there too. So we got some we got some fun stuff. Got some fun stuff going. So yeah, very cool. So I wanted to give uh, Sleepy Bird Art a shout out. We have um, some more emote slots. So if we see things we need to add, I will do a I will do another batch of like. We just I added 14 emotes this morning. We'll do seven more. I think I have spots for seven more right now. So <sighs> glad to see y'all. Glad to see you, Molly. Glad to see everyone here. It's good to be back. It's hard to know where to start since I've been gone. Since I've been gone, but it's a good place to start with Toby emotes, right? We got a lot of Toby emotes. Heading down to the beach. Nice. You on spring break? We did spring break last week, so uh, so we uh, we I'm fully rested, ready to roll. We got we got stuff to do. We got stuff to do to chat. I have part of this is for my sanity. What we're gonna do today? Schmevelin with the 36 months. Let's go. Where my alert? Rebuzzle's 33 months, level three hype train. This is what happens when you take a week off. But yeah, it's uh it's good to be back on the on the on the Twitch. So um I get hyped uh like right before we had the we had the intro music. Have you done your Atlanta loot yet? No, we're gonna do that today. So I've gone through my stuff, right? The stuff I bought for myself, which is separate from what we're gonna do today. So we can kind of manage all this. Jackie One Dog Night, 29 months. Miss you, Jackie. Saw Jackie at the at the Atlanta Pen Show, always an awesome hang, hanging out with uh, One Dog Night. Michelle, good morning. How are you? Thank you for the nine months of sub, and thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. Level three. Today, I pick up a Witch Rialo from the post office. Nice. Nice. That is, I need to ink my witch. That's a phrase, that's a phrase that we can say among friends here, right? Like, how often do you get to say, I need to ink my witch? Um, and people go, yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. What are you going to choose? Um, out in the real world, we don't get to say I'm going to ink my witch very often. So uh, that's why we have such an awesome happy family here today. Will Toby Bork today? The, uh, the prediction is up. We have, uh, let's see if we can get him here. Whew. Let's see. What do you think? Is Toby going to Bork today? He's laying right next to me. It's just me and him today. So we're, we're just chilling. I'm talking about him. I keep singing his name. He is out. Like he's just not budging. So last week was weird with no Twitch. It went by really fast for me. So uh, went by really fast. So normal to have you back. Uh, kind of normal like the snow you're getting, uh, which is crazy. Good morning, Michael West. Glad to be back. Odd copy, you did make it on time. So yeah, so that's all the inside info. Tony, 37 months. We need a 37 emote probably in a row. 37 in a row. Nice. Welcome back, Tony. Tony <laughs> and our mother bleeping row, right? Oh, man. I think you wore that shirt pre-show, now post-show. Nice. You know what that means, Slumberland Studio? That means I didn't wear it at show. <laughs> you have to have the pre and then you have to have the planning, and then you have to have the post. So there you go. It means I haven't worn it in a while. Uh, 10 months of subbing for Boss Breaker Quest. Thank you so much. Toby did not go on our trip. He got sent to the clink. Uh, that's what we call it when he goes to boarding. Um, he got sent to the clink, so poor buddy. Poor buddy came home with like an anxiety scratch on the top of his head. He, he, it is, uh, it is, he hasn't touched it since he'd been home, but I think he had a little anxiety. 
little anxiety while he was at the at boarding, so poor buddy. Next time you have a vacation, you should set your computer to automatically do chair trip Twitch so the rest of us can hang out and chat. I should just do a VPN. Yeah, just turn on a VPN, VPN into this computer, um, turn on the uh, chair stream. Like, there's no reason why I couldn't do that. There's supposed to be a new retro out either today or soon. It's literally every day. I almost replied to their latest uh, Instagram. I was like, and what about tomorrow? Or like, <laughs> poor Toby. I know he, Toby had the sads when he went to uh, went to boarding, but they like him there. He likes it there. Um, he has he makes friends. He made a girlfriend one time uh, that they told me uh, that he did he did make make a girlfriend. I don't know about this time, so you know, you know. Schmevelin with the gifted sub. How did I miss this? With to Crafty Becky. Thank you so much. Enjoy your new hot out the oven emotes. Fear and King found the ice box of happiness emote. We have that. Chair stream hype. I need that chair emote. That's a good chair. So yeah, we've been uh we've been busy while we're gone, but we had a good vacation, so it was good to be back. Glad you got to go to Pincho, Brad. Really fantastic. Let's get into it. Um, Atlanta Pincho was great. Had a really good time. Um, it was so fast, right? Like, I was literally there for almost exactly 24 hours. So, showed up, and then, like, the 24-hour clock happened, and then I came home. Odd copy. Nine months of subbing. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Appreciate that. <clears throat> um... So yeah, it was it was quick, which means when I returned from the pen show, it was all I could do to, I, I immediately went, did prom stuff, like within an hour of, I got home, I was doing prom stuff for the whole rest of the night, you know, getting my daughter ready, going, going, um, you know, taking pictures, all that stuff. Brad was like a tornado going through Atlanta, that's true, it was a mess. Greg was there, we hung out, Greg is awesome. Greg has good, good style sense, just so y'all know. <laughs> um so came home and then left immediately the next morning to go on vacation and then got home Thursday night. So, what I did when I came home from the Atlanta pen show is I had the stuff that I wanted to ink. <laughs> Oni P, 12 months of subbing. Thank you so much. You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Toby winning. Toby winning. That doesn't even affect him. I'm going to say his name a lot more with these emotes now, and uh, he's not flinching. So, Evan Max Twitch, 35 months of subbing. Let's go right when I click the alert button. Sorry, Evan, you didn't get the cheers. Let's go. So, what I did, I grabbed the few pins that I bought for myself. Hey, Iraqi player. Welcome. Um, it, so, I could take on the trip with me even though I didn't really use them that much, but I wanted my stuff. Boss Baker Chris with the 100 biddies. Um, and then everything else I left in bags that I got at the show. So we have three bags we're going to go through today of varying madness. All right, so we, we're going to go uh, in size. We have small bag. Um, that's an Andorillium ink sticker on there. Small bag will go first. Medium bag. Now, this is like your birthday or your holidays where the box or the bag may not be representative of the contents in the bag or box. So, I have this bag. So, this is, yeah, this is more of an unbagging stream. Hey, Toasty Treat, I got your stickers. They're amazing. And I want to know how you printed out the small, the small, uh, all the all the Kirby stickers because I got Toby emotes now and they would make like that sticker sheet would be cool. So yeah, so remember what I said. The bag may not be representative of its contents. All right, so that's the medium bag, and then then the last bag. We bought some. We have so much. We got the Vanessa Vaness tote. Like that's when you know you you did well. Level five hype train. Holy crap. Y'all are awesome. So we have a lot to do today, which means we have a lot of giveaways. Molly, thanks you for uh, being being a member. Uh, it's amazing, and it's the least I can do, and thank you so much. I have a circuit and printed it out at home on sticker paper and cut it out. That looked like it. It's, it prints out really exceptionally well. 
Teko by Tori with the raid. What is up? Hope you had a good stream today. Really, really appreciate you so much. If y'all aren't following Teko by Tori, go follow them. I can't fix my shout out script, which means I need to change out of Streamlabs into just OBS. So thank you so much, Techo by Tori. I hope you had a really fun stream. I hope you did some awesome planning. What'd you do today? Brad, we want to know, we want you to know we love you, but you may have a problem with buying stuff at pen shows. So, Greg, um, this time it was an issue. Thank you. Thank you for the link to Techo by Tori. So thank you, thank you, thank you for putting that link in there because my thing's broken. We decorated vintage spreads in my journal. Awesome. So yeah, y'all go check out Techo by Tori. And uh, they're an awesome streamer, awesome planning stream, do lots of fun stationary stuff. So definitely go check them out. So Namiki Winter Vlad, this is probably like easily the most I've ever spent at a pen show in a decade of going to pen shows. Um, and that's not necessarily a good thing, right? But I did load up on stuff just to have stuff. So, and it'd been a while. So I did lots of stuff. So we'll, uh, yeah, I'm making up for two years. Yeah, if I average it out over the past two years. See, but the problem with that would be last summer, I was like, hey, I'm not going to a pin show. So I can go buy a Visconti Homo Sapiens, right? It's like, I can't have it both ways. I get it both ways all the time. So I just, I went a little bit nuts. <laughs> I went a little bit nuts. Yeah, deferred gratification. Did we miss seeing the hall? No, we hadn't even started yet. We're getting ready to start. Um, we got level four hype train. Let's go. Choo choo. Toby hype. All right. So let's start with the small one because I don't know that there's a lot in here. So let me get the camera going. There's a lot. This bag contains a lot of the swag, like the loose um, stickers, cards, smaller items. Online spending increased to compensate, facts. Yeah, Toby Cash money, Toby Cash money uh, emote for that. Thunder Viking with the gifted sub, thank you so much, Tetro by Tori. Thank you so much, enjoy your, your emotes. Emotes fresh out the oven as of today. So very, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, let's uh, switch over this camera and we're just gonna have to dig through this stuff and see what we have going on here. All right, Smand. Oh, I should get a Smand emote, right? All right, new emotes list. New emotes list, Smand. I gotta figure out how we can do a Smand emote. Because now that I have an artist I can regularly go to, I can get these in a reason amount uh, of time. I ended up spending quite a bit at Atlanta. Thanks, Brooks. Right. Thanks for nothing. Miss G's Crafty's 32 months. Stereo Sound, 21 months of subbing. Thank you both. Good to see y'all. What is up? All right. So if we think of any other emotes, I have like more. I have like seven more slots like right now. And then we can always get more. So <clears throat> a smand shaped Toby. That'd be great. I actually didn't do so bad in Atlanta as far as spending. Nice. That's good. So that'll have to be my mantra for future shows this year. Um, is like I did really crazy stuff in Atlanta. Molly with the gifted sub. All right. So we're going to throw this in. This is just like I had to clear off the desk when I when I left the hotel. So I just threw everything loose in this bag. So we're gonna put this in the ice box of happiness to start including with all of the um, all of the giveaway stuff I do. There'll be plenty of giveaways today. Chat, throw it emote, that's a good one. Let me write that down. Um, I don't know, I don't wanna encourage that. I'm nervous about what I'll do in Chicago, right? Ink emote, swatch request, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ink. Okay, good. Missed you too, Steph. Glad to be back. Hope you're doing well. All right. There we go. A Tony emote pass. Found a Hermes Nautilus for sale this week. I'm done for the year. Right, right, right. Just watch Brad bought a whole table of pins. I could probably go do just like a full madness thing. All right, so 
Heinz Pen Company. It is pronounced Heinz after uh, after Mike threw me off last week. Um, I got gummies from one of my friend. See, I'm slow playing, y'all. This is all the uh, this is all the easy stuff. This is all the come on, Brad. I don't want to see this stuff. Stuff, but I got to go through this bag and do something with it. Yay! Got the emotes. Thank you. Did you bring the last of the Knox stuff, Atlanta? I did not because I didn't do a table in Atlanta. So there was no way for me to do that. So I'm gonna. There is a batch of stuff that I'm gonna have to do something with, whether it's online or bring it like the ooh la la cases. Yeah. So we're probably. I'm probably gonna do it online, but I gotta in do another inventory. Um, Anna with the coloring, with the coloring stuff. Um, we'll add all, a lot of this stuff into the ice box. Those gummies are in a summoning circle. That's hilarious. That's a lot of flavors of gummies too. Schmevelin with the gifted sub. Oh my gosh, Schmevelin, thank you so much. If y'all got a gifted sub from Schmevelin, make, make sure you say thanks. Make sure you check out those new emotes. Sleepy Bird Art, I was checking you. I'm about to go into your stream this morning. And I was looking to see uh, everyone checking out the emotes. I made sure to give you a shout out. Sleepy Bird Art. So spam your emotes for Sleepy Bird Art. That's the emote artist. Thank you so much, Sleepy Bird Art. You're the best. Go give Sleepy Bird Art a follow. Oh, check out all the emotes. They're all up. This is the first new emote stream, Sleepy Bird Art. So you are the emote champ. And we already, we're already making a list. Look, we're making a list for new emotes. So spam all the emotes for Sleepy Bird Art. So we have, we're making a new list. I have like seven more spots. Miss Cookie with the Prime sub. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Look at all the emotes. We now have, I feel like we're official now. I've been a Twitch partner for I don't know how long. And we've only had like a couple of emotes. And now we finally did it, chat. Thanks to Sleepy Bird Art. Make sure, can I get a shout out to Sleepy Bird Art even though my shout out command is broken? Will someone link Sleepy Bird Art in there for people to go click and add to uh, their follow list? Go click on Sleepy Bird Art, hit, click follow. And uh, the next time they stream, which is tomorrow, um, y'all go check out their stream. Thank you, Andrew. All of the success and not even one hot tub stream. I do have a pool. Don't tempt me with summertime. Schmevelin with the gifted sub. We're never going to get through these bags today, chat. All we have is a gummy summoning circle so far and some stickers. Like, y'all are expecting to see pens and inks. That ain't happening today, chat. Well, you're in luck. We have pretty much a lot of time today. More than we have like two hours plus, um, so we can uh, we can do this, we can do this, but now, now I'm confused of why there's a, a summoning circle and why there's only like eight gummies in here, but like one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 colors, 12, uh, 12 flavors. All right, 12 flavors gummy bear cubs, cherry, strawberry, mango, pineapple, lemon, orange, green apple, watermelon, pink, grapefruit, lime, blue raspberry, and grape. All right. We're just batching out these stickers here. Like literally, this is this is the stuff I came home with my at, from my desk, uh, the hotel desk, and just like swooped it all into a bag. All right, Pinatic stickers go over here. We have Bent Stein, Bent Tine stickers. Spent a lot of time with uh, with Cat and Ray Ray, and had a really good time. Uh, my friend Jack took the Instax there of me writing this is actually a really good instax i'm trolling y'all i am totally trolling y'all <laughs> we have so much to get through here but we're gonna do this um so yeah there's my little instax we have more cat stickers we have more retro 51 stickers we're gonna just do it like a sticker bin here queer from cat love that sticker uh starry night resins heinz pins we got standard we got foil Oh, let me get all these cards over here. We got Atlanta Pin Show 2022 stickers. So my friend made these for 2020. And I don't know if you can see that. They made little two stickers to go over the 2020. So we have that. We have a bunch of those. Bent Tines coaster. More gummies. Here's my badge. So my one failure 
My one pin show failure was I didn't bring my badge holder. So I have the donut badge holder that Anna gave me a bunch of years ago. And it's got all my little badges and pins on it. I totally forgot that. And I saw everyone with all their badges and pins. You know, it's like a, like a Disney thing where you had go and you have all the junk. It's like how much flair do you have? Like at shenanigans. Um, so I didn't have my shenanigans flair uh, on there. Yeah, we'll have to see. Do we have enough gummies to complete the ritual? That's, that's probably like an entire stream because we never know what's going to happen um, if I actually complete the summoning circle. So it could be sketchy could be sketchy we'll have to do a we'll have to do a different stream for that one yeah so i did not have enough flair this time we got all the new emotes kate we got them we got them so yeah my other lanyard has all the pins and buttons on it this is what i had this time and it didn't even say brad downey on it so whatever kermit frog with the gifted sub thank you so much happy nerdy and knitting enjoy the sub thank you kermit i really really appreciate you you're amazing yeah, I definitely can't work at shenanigans with this with this batch. So, um, here's a parking pass if anyone needs that. So that's how this that's how this stream is gonna go today. You don't know what you're gonna find in any of these bags, but we have a parking pass. The famous Brad Downey, right? All right. So we need a we need a trash trash bag. Luckily, this bag is mostly filled up with one thing, which we'll go to in a minute. Oh, I got, um, someone handed me a, um, um, a postcard to send to Mike. So I have not read, so someone filled out an entire postcard for me to send to Mike. Um, but I did not read it because I don't do that. I don't do that stuff. So that goes there. All right. That bag is empty because there's one thing that's filling up the bottom of this bag. Oh, it's not empty. A few more things. It was almost empty. Uh, bent tines pins. So we got to keep all these for the for the lanyard leaky nib. We got uh, Narwhal Frank's uh, business card. I can't share that with y'all. We got bent tines there. All right, trash bag. All right. So we're gonna. This goes here. All of these things are gonna go. I'm gonna get like a bin for giveaway stuff. Uh, except my picture. We don't want that. So I'm going to have like a, a swag uh, bin to go. When I do a giveaway, we can just include all of this stuff. So this is a bunch of stuff that people gave me. And I have a whole nother bin in the other room that I'm going to uh, use as well. So I probably just need to, I do need the downy paper towels. What do I need to do here? I didn't think about getting all this stuff off my desk. Let me see if I can set this stuff here. So we basically need a blind bag of swag. All right, so I can reach in. This is what's really holding down the box. So one of the reasons, this is, here comes the excuses. One of the reasons I spent so much at the show is because there was a lot of new stuff there that I wanted to review for the blog. So Andorillium Inks. So based out of Tampa, um, they launched several years ago and the inks weren't that great to be perfectly honest, right? They had uh, some uh, tough performance issues and some QC issues, but they have uh, resurfaced. Yeah, they're from Tampa. And do I have their card? I'm pretty sure it's from Tampa. Yeah, and they were bad. So they have recombobulated recombobulated the inks so i got them to try murdoch 64 three months of seven thank you so much i appreciate that so they have two series out now the cephalopod series um which i bought and gave to kimberly for review since she was there um so she has a set of eight inks at home and then an, i have a set ink of eight inks of the avian series so let's uh, open this up real quick so this is a bunch of, oh yeah, Tampa, Florida, it says it right there. They lurk in my desk drawer still. Yeah, so old Andorillium inks, eh, maybe, maybe not. New Andorillium inks, so we will check these out. American Goldfinch Yellow. I need to send, show these to, I, I, I draw burbs 
what's who did we go raid the other day? Had some feathering with one of their new inks. Still overall good after the recombobulation. Good broken board. Good to know. Yeah, so I played around with these, tested them out. These are honey jars. And uh, they feel pretty good. Um, they look like they're going to behave pretty good, but we'll check them out. Shoebill Stork Gray. Green Kingfisher Green. Cephalopod inks were some of the worst performing inks I'd ever tried. Yeah, so they re recombobulated them. So we're going to have to test them out. Indigo Bunting Blue. But the original ones were bad. They were bad. Purple Galanool. Purple Galanool Purple. All right, it's double purple. Common Loon Black. And Roseate Spoonbill Pink. So I have these and then um, whatchamacallit. Uh, I've never... I've never been to a pin string before. Oh, just wait. This is nothing. Um, so Kimberly's going to do the cephalopods, and then I'll probably spit, split these up between me, uh, Sarah, and Jeff and do some reviews. Unless, like, if they're bad, like right out the jump, we'll just drop them, right? We'll just drop them like they're hot. But I think they're going to be okay now. At least my initial testing of them was okay. You know, that I tested with um, at the show. They had them all out in testers. So, we'll see. We'll see. I felt good enough to buy them, but uh, I don't know why, but that gold has a really watery look to me. Gotcha. Like in use, or do you just say in like visually here? Swatches Thursday? Oh, just visually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That happens with like gold and yellow inks. Um, prob mm, I don't know if we'll do Swatches Thursday. I have this whole other unboxing thursday planned that y'all are going to enjoy that will require a lot of testing um and probably not ink swatches so we will test these out and see if they're actually better than before you know that's the goal right they uh they tried and they failed the first time admittedly so and they're trying again hopefully better this time so there we go Prediction, Sleepy Bird uh, wins a giveaway before Thunder Viking. Truth, truth, truth. Tried a couple of the cephalopods. So, Kelsey, have you tried the new cephalopod from, like, the new range? Because the old cephalopods were, were very bad. I don't know what's happening, but, yes, I want to win. We do lots of giveaways here. That's why I needed the icebox emote, because this is the icebox. And in the icebox lives stationery that I give away. So, when I get into this next bag, we'll do our first giveaway. So for those just joining, Sleepy Bird Art is who did the new emotes for the channel. So check out all your emotes. Give Sleepy Bird Art a follow. Give Sleepy Bird Art a shout out. They are awesome and you should follow them. All right, when we get in this next bag, we'll do our first giveaway. The new ones, okay, good, Kelsey. Yeah, so they must, uh, they, they're working on it, right? Because they definitely failed the first time. All right, <clears throat> next bag. Next box, next bag, I should say. Um, this is mine. I don't know why it's in here. Y'all don't get that. I'll see Mandarin. That's for me. So this bag contains this. Maybe we'll keep that bag for stickers and swag. Maybe we'll keep the drum ghouls bag for stickers and swag. All right, so y'all told me about the Odyssey notebooks. Um, from what, Baltimore Pin Show? How do you join giveaways? I'll show you. When Once I launch one, it's easy. So I got these to test out. So these are all 68 GSM Tomoe River. Um, I bought these like... I got, I'll do one to test and then one to give away and then we'll figure them out. They were at the DC Pin Show last year too. Cool. So I haven't figured these out. Um, Sarah, Inkwell Monster. I think I'm gonna give you the, would you like the big one or one of the A5 ones for review and writing? This isn't really A4, I don't know what size this is. 
So Sarah, pick one out, and then I'll do a giveaway for one of the A5 ones. I'm not gonna do a giveaway for this one because it's too big. You tried the big one? I figured you would try the big one. Okay, so this is for, I need to start making a Sarah batch. Give you one of the A5 ones? Well, I'm gonna make you enter the giveaway. So these are uh, 68 GSM Tamoy River paper, so they're pretty cool. But I haven't opened one up yet to test, so. You will enter the gay giveaway? Oh, that's smart, Ink, therefore I am. Yeah, I don't know how accessible these are. Can you get these online? So I bought this with Sarah in mind, so I'm glad that she likes it. Whoa, sorry camera. We still here, we still here. All right, so I have two A5. Sarah, uh, Inkwell Monster, she writes for the Pen Addict. She writes for my blog. She's one of the product reviewers, so she uh, she gets dibs on uh, products a lot of time. <laughs> and she's also a novelist and a writer, so she uses a crap ton of books and notebooks. So she gets a lot of the notebook stuff. The big one is B5, all available on the Odyssey Notebook site. Can you drop a link, Tanya Crimson? How many more chances do I have to win to win a ramen note? You know what? Not many. So here's what I'm going to do. I have your uh, envelope here uh, with my stickers in it, which I'm guessing maybe has your return address on it, although I have your address. Yeah. So I'm going to put that on your envelope, so I will send you one. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I have these two odyssey notebooks and i bought this with in mind i bought these in mind to give away to y'all so let's do a giveaway uh first of what will be probably at least two giveaways today and um and we'll see i'll let whoever wins um can uh pick out which color they want i don't is this like milky way i don't know is this the sun i don't know the differences here uh, it's kind of what it looks like, but all right, let's set this up. All right, give me one sec. We'll get this going. All right. So you'll get to pick which color you want. Got my ramen note. Also came with a cool pen. Nice. Both dot grid? I think so. I think they're dot grid, right? They don't even say on here but I'm pretty sure they're dot grid or are they blank. I don't know. That's a good question, Bruce. All right. So this giveaway is for one of the two Odyssey A5 notebooks to enter. All you have to do is type exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a member a follower. You don't have to live in the United States. Although this will cost me a fortune to ship overseas, I'll still do it for you. That's what we do here. So exclamation point raffle. And yeah, if you look on Odyssey's website, my hands aren't free enough to go browse that. Y'all can see, do they have different formats? I, I'm trying to look on the edge here to see if like I can see the dots, but I can't and they're not marked. So... Um, these are 68 GSM Tomoe River. <laughs> Zero wins, raffle luck. Ramen note has been laminated for posterity. We gotta find some more ramen notes. Um, these look nice. They're dot grid. Thank you, Tanning Crimson. I was pretty sure that's what they were, but I was not positive, so thank you. All right. The Drom Ghouls bag is gonna be the swag bag. Okay, so we're gonna put all, so I will reach in and grab some swag. I have a whole nother bin, one day we'll do it. I have uh, in the closet of doom, we have a swag bag. Super ugly pin, no, although it could be. So I'm gonna, I, I can probably fill half of this bag up with like stickers and stuff to send with y'all uh, when I do these giveaways, so we'll do that soon. I know it says it says zero wins and you're also owned. 
because you uh, did not win. All right, y'all got like 10 seconds left, exclamation point raffle. Let's see what you got. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can, uh, I can work with Sleepy Bird Art. We can do a big, zero, just a big zero, zero W, which also would look like owl. So we can work on that. All right, entries have stopped. I'm gonna pick a winner. Liber Astet, Liber Astet. You won, have you won before? It seems like maybe, maybe, maybe a first time winner. Oh my God, <laughs> first time, first time winner. No more, you cannot use the zero wins club anymore, emote anymore. <laughs> rigged, rigged. It's not rigged, they were a first time winner. You're free, you're free. So the zero wins club is now off limits. <laughs> so Sleepy Bird Art, just so you know, the zero wins club. I've been streaming for three and a half years and I've been doing giveaways for nearly as long. And we have people that are, have been subscribers for 30 plus months and have never won a giveaway. And I do them every stream, usually multiple ones. So it's a running joke, but some people have won like four and five times. But we have a big uh, zero wins club. Can I get a zero win, some zero in my, zero wins emotes if you're in the zero win club? Zero wins, zero wins, rise up. There you go. So, lots of zero win clubs. All right, Liber. Oh, which uh, which one do you want? Do you want the black one or the yellow one? Which? Why doesn't this work? Oh, because I'm on the wrong screen. Which, um, oh, the black one? Okay, perfect. All right, let's do that. And then we'll, uh, then we're gonna get into the bag of fun, right? Those bags were easy. They were just random stuff. Oh, I still have a couple other things from this. Let me write this down so I don't forget. Zero win clubs, rise up. Brad likes you twice as much as me. <laughs> probably true Lieber thank you Tony thank you Tony Lieber my apologies let me write this down so I don't forget And just for the record, Toby has moved. He's just scooched his head off the edge of the couch now instead of next to the pillow. Still waiting for my four wins emote. <laughs> to be fair, this is only like the second stream that I managed to catch five. Yeah, we have people that are three plus years into several times a week giveaways that have, have not won. And it's not like we have thousands of viewers in here. I mean, back in the day when there was like 30 viewers, the odds were a lot better and still not going. All right. So I'll keep this one. I'll do something with this one later. This will probably be, I don't know, another review, maybe my next notebook, something like that. I did grab a couple of these uh, just for future dalliances. These are the Hobonichi. These are the 52 GSM um, notebooks. These are the standard Hobonichi grid. Thunder Viking is the president. That's what we get for spreading the word. I know, right? It's like, uh, it's like, hey, I want to say, hey, come help Brad out and and check out the stream. But I also have like messed up my odds. We need a Toby cam. Yeah, that's a whole thing. With um, we talked about how to get him to 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 stay, and we talked about doing like a, a treat reward thing. I haven't figured that out yet, but uh, I do have a GoPro somewhere that supposedly works pretty good for that. So yeah, these are from the uh, 1101 Hobonichi A5 Tomoe River notebook. Um, and then I have a campus, Kakuyo campus. I think I sent a batch of these to Sarah also to review. Um, or maybe you did review them before, but these are really, really good. Um, subscribe for six months, one twice. <laughs> God, I'm y'all. I have pressure now to find something to replace the ramen uh, stickers. All right, and then um, Mandarin ink, which I already shared. So that's uh, that's mine. Mine. Yep, I have a five pack you just sent. Nice. 
So, um, do I have this inked up yet? I don't think I've inked this up yet, but now I'm thinking about it. I feel a need now to win since you just got here. Your odds are really good. Um, your odds are really good. We have a lot of first time winners here. Campus notebooks are so great. They are really good. All right. Let's do that. All right. We are now into the tote bag of trouble. And we're gonna go into one thing that I wanna get out of here pretty quickly because it's just sitting there. I think some of y'all know what this is. So I was walking out, I was making the round Saturday, right? And I, ha I was trying to get out of there by like 11.30 and I'm making the rounds, um, saying goodbye to my friends and who walks in but Frank Zhang of Norwal Pins. And I've never met him, don't necessarily know him. And he walks up and goes, Brad. I'm like, because it's Frank from Narwhal. I'm like, oh my gosh, Frank, because we've we've exchanged emails. Yeah, this is a narwhal. This is one of the fancy narwhals. So this is the Nautilus, I believe it's called. So he talked to me for a second and I told him he, you know, I was getting ready to to head out. And he's like, Oh, hey, I want you to take a pen with you. So he gave me a um <laughs> it's a Twisby pet. It's a Twisby Pelican. What's a y'all figure out the Nar Twiz Pelican? Like, what do you call it when you squish up all the words? So figure out what we got. So he gave me he 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 had like four pens. He said pick one to take with you, and I said okay. Um, and this is one I picked. Um, it's numbered to something. One thirty six of four hundred. So. This is an ebonite, and it has a piston filler. Nat, yeah, portmanteau. Thank you. That was the that was the name I was trying. Uh, I was Pelish Wall. It's close. Twall. <laughs> Penarby. <laughs> Nartwis can. That's closer. Nartwis can. So yeah, this is um. It's really nice. <laughs> I kind of like this pen. Um, the ebonite's really pretty. It's not overly big, right? Just like these can, um, um, some of the narwhals can get big and bulky. I prefer smaller, but it feels good, right? It's not heavy. Um, interesting ink window. Yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the idea behind this pen. It was the Nautilus, so it's got that, uh, that ocean theme in the ink window, which I think is pretty cool. And it's got a very um, unique proprietary piston filling system. That That's a joke, by the way, um, for those who know. Is there anything, is there, a, is there a latest on this Twisby Narwhal madness? Is there, a, is there an update? Like when there was fire weeks ago, um, it kind of died down real quick, kind of like I anticipated and haven't heard a peep since because yeah, whatever. That's, that's a whole thing we'll go over another time. So anyway, so Frank gave me this pen. Um, I'm going to uh, review it at some point or someone's going to review it. No updates I know of, just quiet. Yeah, which is kind of like the update we anticipated, at least I anticipated. I think it's just gonna go away. <sighs> Feels a bit naff of Narwhal to conceal their link with Mahjong. Are they? Link with like I don't know. Does that is that who makes their pens? Like I like for a fact. Maybe a proxy war with Moonman. So Moonman or Mahjong makes um the narwhal parts, makes the narwhal pens. Twisby just gonna act like they never said anything. I think that's how this is gonna go, to be perfectly honest. What size nib is here? Medium nib. That's what I gather from Tokyo Inking Podcast. Gotcha. Yeah, but like, are they... I See, I don't know. Like, are they making the whole thing? Like, is this all like a Moonman that Narwhal's just contracting? Like, I don't know how that stuff... 
if they actually took it to a lawyer, then the lawyer absolutely told them to shut it. That's a lot of the emails that I got was like, this is not a good move. Twisby. Oh, sorry. That was, uh, we can allow that. So there you go. So I will be myself or someone will be reviewing this. Um, for the blog, because I think it's pretty cool. Twisby has ink on their face. That's a good way to put it. All right, so we're just gonna have to do a bunch of reaching in this bag, because I think if I uh, if I bring this bag up on the table, it's gonna fall apart. There's actually a bag within a bag here. So we have the bag, and then we have a bag within a bag here, and it's just a hot mess. Aurelius, thank you for the 12 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Hat on a hat, bag in a bag. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it. We're gonna keep going big here. I've been since I've been slow rolling, y'all. So far, we're gonna keep going big here for a minute um, before I need to take a break. I like my narwhal pens, but narwhal has definitely been playing coy about who makes them. The story has changed over the years. It's not like the manufacturer changes. They just state one thing and claim they never stated. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, I don't know. Like I haven't followed it, but yeah, I would like to. I'm a fan of transparency, right? So we we want to know where the pins are made. Um, I understand if they don't want to disclose the factory, but I do want to know the location. Like, like tell me, just tell me where they're made. Like, if you're hiding it from me, then why? All right, new Esterbrook, new Esterbrook pin, the candy. Um, the right pen for the way you write. I didn't know that was their uh, slogan now. Is that a new slogan? The right pen for the way you write. <laughs> something, something, Baron Fig. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't care where your pens are made. I just care if I ask you if I don't get an answer. So that would be the same. I will ask Frank. So I will be contacting Frank. So there you go. Um... Esterbrook candy, that's the latest uh, from Esterbrook. What is that font? I don't know, and it's it's not good. Might as well just go on Comic Sans on there. Like, I don't even love the, the slogan. Like, that's a try-hard slogan. Like, you don't have to try that hard. All right, activation code. Why do I need an activation code? So this is the Esterbrook candy. Oh, the needle point on the, um, on the uh, other Esterbrook. We'll break that out maybe tomorrow's stream. I'll write with it. Pins are made in China, which is totally fine, but whatever they're keeping secrets is an unknown, unknown. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is an activation code? So this is the new Esterbrook candy. It's basically like a cotton candy type swirl. Um, it's really, really pretty. Needle girl with the 19 months of subbing. Good morning. It's Is this an NFT thing? Esterbrook pins as a service. Wait, go back to the activation code. Does someone want to do something? Finally just inked up the FC I bought at the show with Shinkai. So good. Someone, oh, here we go. Oh, I guess it's the warranty. It's the warranty. There you go. If I would just flip over the card, that's all I need to do. Will you please on stream compare it to the Franklin Kristoff needlepoint? Yeah. Um, I have my Lamy needlepoint here. So we'll do that later. <laughs> no bod, I'm with you. It's like, ain't nobody going to do that. So. All right, back to the pen. So very cool colors. Sorry. My screen is messed up. How's the Lamy need to point? Very good. We'll talk about that. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Very cool sparkly colors. So these, most of the pens and inks and paper I have in here today are for future reviews. Um, stuff I've bought, like this one. Stuff that was given to me, like this one. Um, these all go to the blog. We'll do like members giveaways, Panatic members through the Panatic member program, the newsletter giveaways, stuff like that. So like that's what we're thinking. That's what I'm thinking with things like 
these pins, right? This isn't stuff I'm going to keep long term, but uh, they're very, very cool. So, very cool. Your teeth hurt looking at that color? Yeah, so they should just call it, you're saying they should call this one the cavities? They should, they should get with those uh, teeth eraser people. That's what they need to do. Um, this was actually something else I bought for me, the Sutsuji. This is actually what's in my needle point in my Esther book, my uh, Great Wave Esther book. Uh, I guess that's what I'm calling it. Oh, and I got your email, uh, Namiki Winter Vlad, on the Dragon Scale. Yeah, Dragon Scale is not a very unique name. But I didn't have, y'all know I like this color so much, and I didn't have um, the Orochizuku version of it. So I, I like these hot pink magenta E colors, and I have this in a needle point right now. So that's that's for me. So that goes into the different stash. What's this? Okay, Tesori. Brad can't go to a pin show then leave for vacation the next day. Yeah, I can't even remember everything that's that came home with me. <laughs> we should probably make start making more room here. So Tesori was a new to me brand. I think I'd heard of them online, um, and they had they have this uh, pin shape that I really really liked. Um, it's smaller. Ooh, look at this sleeve. I didn't know I got a sleeve with it. Pin sleeve here. Very cool. The SD is such a good pen. It's, I can't believe, like Evan, like I've talked about this a bunch. I honestly didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. Love the glass art finial. Yeah, that kind of got me, right? So these really nice acrylics, you know, in a very minimalist shape pen. Do you buy more when you drive to a pin show versus flying to a pin show? A hundred percent. What is the difference between a pin sleeve and a kimono? The name. So, yeah, so there's a name for this. So it's like this Italian glass, right? And that's how they, that's kind of like their selling point. Sleeve made by survivors or trafficking, I believe. So we're going to be talking a lot about Tesori, and we're going to talk about a lot about Hello Tello Studios, because John, thank you. That's the word, uh, lady, uh, lady Tamara, Millie, Millie Fiori, Millie Fiori, Millie Fiori or Murano Glass. Are those the same thing? <laughs> so we're going to be talking with John a bunch because he does a lot of interesting work outside of pens um yeah he he's a good guy into a lot of stuff uh, a lot of cool stuff so um some of his pens have secrets on them like that you don't know so you got a little extra milli milli fiori i gotta ooh, i gotta work on this um some of these are sneaky right like not all pens have them on the end of the barrel um milli fiori my guy, sister, I see, I see what you did there. So yeah, and then um, the pins are taken at the front end here. So there's like the section is the barrel, so it's a short cap pin, which I like. So you don't you grip it here, right? So that's very cool. And then open it in the center. And then they have like a little alternate cap band, which this one's a very, very matchy, matchy cap band, but some of them are alternate uh, cap bands. So it's neat. Like this is my style and my aesthetic. Like I think I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy using this. So again, future reviews, future giveaways. Um, you're definitely um, going to hear me talking more about them and more about Hello Tello Studios and uh, John um, who runs runs the show there? He's doing some cool stuff and just a all around cool guy. All right, so that's that. Slide that back in there. All right, let's go next. What else are we gonna get? We're just going in blind now. All right, so this should be a mythic pins. Um, so I got to meet Brad in person, um, 
for the first time. I've talked to Brad a bunch. Brad lives about like less than 45 minutes away from me and I haven't been over to his studio yet. This was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there an As the Pen Turns with uh, John from Hello Tello? I haven't listened to all the episodes, so I'll go check. So let me get the name of this. I had to write this one down. I remember when I was buying it, I was like, okay, you need to tell me the name um, of this pen. And I kept a list here. Okay, so this material is called basilisk. So, um, we had a meeting of the Brads. We did. So, this is the prime. This So, the pin shape is the prime, right? So, the, the Aeschylus, I don't know how to say that. Sorry, Power Belly. has the more tapered ends. So, this one's more of a straight, uh, straight barrel. And then the material is called basilisk. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? That's crazy, right? It's like, okay, yes, please. I will have this. So you can see really cool material. And I like this. I like this shape. It's a very simple shape, right? Straight sided, slightly rounded edges, but flat sides, flat ends. Um, I really dig it. So very cool. Isn't that pretty? Like this is the problem at the pin shows is you see stuff like this and you're just like, ah, mm, should I put this down? I don't know if I should put this down. Um, I... Yeah, ink it with that uh, Sutsuji. Yeah, that's kind of a perfect <laughs> raffle. <laughs> yeah. So I told Brad um, maybe this summer when he's out of school and it's easier for me to get on the road. I'm going to go up there and we'll, we'll shoot some video um, up at his studio. He's, like I said, literally like maybe 40 minutes. Escalus, thank you, Alan. I do not know like how to pronounce those names. Thank you. All right, let's move this manned. Sorry, smand. To the curb. Speaking of Ben Walsh, uh, Doodlebud has an hour-long interview with Ben. Nice. Uh, feel free to link that in the chat if it's if it's handy. You may not have that handy. So, TPA guest spot with Brad. We'll just do like uh, I'll just go shoot a video and we'll like put it on YouTube or something, right? There's so many pin makers within like three hours of me. I have to start taking advantage of of that uh, opportunity that I have. All right, so like. This is serious business so far. Like, this is the serious bag. So we got the Esterbrook, the Nautilus, the Mythic Pins, the Tesori. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, this was from my pen. <laughs> so the uh, Dragons, yeah, Krusak, he actually moved further away. He's like in North Georgia. That's probably like three hours away. Oh, by the way, Brad, there's a package on the way. Nice. Ben and I are talking. Ben and I are chit-chatting. Um, this is for my... This is my pen. Ugh. I'll show you all mine real quick. Mythics and Milner. Yeah, it's like just a little bit north of me. Like, and I, like I said, I mean that a real little bit. Um, so this is the pen that goes in this sleeve. This was my, this is my purchase. I'm calling it the Dragon Scale until I get tired of that name. Um... This is just that really dark material. Um, and then I have a Naganana Toei grind on this. We're going to talk about my pins um, later. We'll do a whole stream like tomorrow or Thursday with like the stuff I got. But just real quickly. Um, oil slick. And then that's my Esterbrook prototype. <laughs> Um, that I got, and this one has the needle point. So we'll do some more. We're going to do some full breakdowns. These are like my personal pens, probably just not necessarily to review, but just to like have and use and share on Instagram and whatever. So, all right, that's what this sleeve was from. You know what? I'm going to put this sleeve, 
I'm gonna put this sleeve. Would y'all y'all wouldn't care if y'all like won this sleeve, right? Even if it didn't have like a Carolina Pin Company pin with it, right? Y'all cool with that? Like if I just put it in the in the ice box for giveaway, y'all good with that, right? Hey, Killer Sheep, I have your nib. I tested it yesterday, and I'm gonna try to ship it tomorrow. So I have not shipped it yet. Oh, you got news? Is it nib related? That Estabrook, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. Um, I'm re I'm really it was really expensive. Those uh, Estabrook prototypes are. Uh, um, it would be much better with a Carolina pen. Yeah, Toasty, you you okay? Is that is that a credit card number? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and this is the um, Cheerio Water Bus. No, we hate free stuff. <laughs> nice. You were just shifted a little bit. So this is the this is the Mike ink, and it's got blue pigment in the bottom. Those sleeves are like twenty dollar value. Yeah, good price. Okay, cool. What's really expensive? My Esterbrook prototype. It was uh, they cut me a deal, and it was still like three hundred dollars. So just so y'all know, forty percent keyboard problems. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So this is the Cheerio Water Bus. Um, it's got the blue pigment in it. So messing with that. That is in one of my pens. I had to toothpick the pigment off the bottom of that. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, over 400. I don't think so, but there's they had all different kinds, right? So like, I think there's just a huge range, is what there is. It is because they're only they're one off samples. They're basically a sample sale. So they're just one offs. So if that, I mean, there could be an over $400 ones if, you know, depending on the materials, right? Uh, just one giveaway so far. You okay, Toby? You good? All right, he's flopping around on the couch over here. So I'm, I'm gonna hold this upside down, put this upside down for the rest of the stream, see what happens. Oh, wait, look. But wait, there's more. This one feels like there's a pin in it. Could there be? Oh, Toby Love. You got a good deal, Brad, because the needle point is 90. They did, they told me before the show they were gonna hook me up with the needle point. So I did get the needle point for free. And then they pretty much charged me most freight for the pen. I think the pen was 350, but I think they I think I paid like 300. So they they took care of me. That was very nice of them. All right, sorry. I made a mess with my water bus. Yeah, I need to swirl it. I probably need like a I need to stick something in there. All right. So, another Brooks. This is Love Potion 999 material, and this is the matte finish. So, I don't have a matte finish Brooks. So, I thought this would be a good, um, a good one to check out, a good one to review, right? A good one to play around with. Yeah, it really is Bell Rule. Like, I didn't know how much I would enjoy a matte finish until you can get this real color differentiation in it. And I don't know if you can see this on screen. All right, let me know if you still want another nib, um, Killer Sheep, because I can send it to you. You tell me. I'm good either way. That's perfect for the water bus ink. That really is, isn't it? So look, there's like pink in here. Y'all can probably see that now if I get it closer. This is a really subtly cool um, material. I am like enamored with this. So yeah, so this is this material does have a name. It's called Love Potion 999. Do you get that usual Brooks depth with a matte finish? So it depends. Like the darker ones, you have a harder time with the depth of it. That I just that's just my personal experience of standing there with one matte. Like I take a, took a picture of one matte and one shiny, and you get the depth in the shiny. I think a little bit more. This one's Love Potion 999. So yeah, it's really, really cool. So this will probably be a review pin. And maybe like future members giveaway, something like that. No more personal pins. None in, I think there is maybe one in here that might be my personal pin. I can't remember. But most of this stuff is like giveaway stuff. Or not giveaway stuff, review stuff and giveaway stuff. All right, what's next? We'll let you know via email, by the way, the new guy. Thank you, Killer Sheep. Yeah, let me know, because I, I do have one for you. All right, 
Heinz pins. Um, this is really cool. So this is another like super pretty material. So what I like so much about the Heinz pins is like Jim manufactures all these clips himself. These are like kind of handmade uh, clips. What's the name of this one? Did I write this one down? Let me see if I wrote this one down. I might just have this in the email. Nope. So this is Autumn Leaves. This one's called Autumn Leaves. Got my first Heinz at the Arkansas Pin Show. Love it. Yeah, it's really good. So this one's called Autumn Leaves. Um, it's a really neat material. And I like this pin shape. Smaller taper towards the end. Um, cool. Let's see if it's in there. Cool finial on the top. And... So yeah, let's talk about the nib plating. Do not call it anodize or Jim will yell at you. Um, it's nano, it's nano ceramic plating, okay? So if he is able to get this really, really durable finish on here that's going to stay looking sharp. Everything except if you like take get nib work done on it, right? Like if you get the edge of the nib modified, you're going to get, yeah, normal maker pen pre prices. These are not, this is not an outrageously priced pen, that, which is also a really good, um, a really good thing, right? So you're paying normal maker prices pens. I don't have it in front of me though, so I'll have to find out. Um, this is probably going to be one of the first pens I review. Um, just because it's so unique and the way Jim works with metals and the care he takes into like making these finishes good and making them useful and pop and then make them like last, like durable, right? It's, it's, it's really cool. So it's going to kind of uh, be able to keep the coating there for, for a long, long time. So, um, and this is the, uh, this is a diamond cast material that's exclusive to Heinz. So this is the the autumn leaves so very cool this is probably one of the first pens i'll i will uh i'll review generic cerakote what's generic cerakote the nano nanodized so yeah very cool so i really really like this one a lot so we'll do that um and i'm almost certain cerakote is the trade name for the nano ceramic is that what you're telling me, Rory Hawk? Hawk? I'm just trying to, to grok what you're telling me. Oh, there's an extra nib in here. Yeah, okay, thank you. And so then this is a different one where if you get the nib modified. Uh, he was just doing this. this. He just gave me this nib for pictures. Um, it's a stub nib, but he ground the edges down so he could show people what it would look like, you know if you did get nib work done on your nib. So that's what the what it is. So there you go. So I will be reviewing this one. Um, and I will be giving it away on the blog at a later date. So we will do that for sure. So stay tuned for this one. This one's at the top of my personal review queue. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. We have a lot more to do. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a quick break, go to the restroom. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna do a giveaway of I don't know what yet. We're gonna find something in this bag to give away. And then um, we'll get back into discovering this stuff. So hang tight, I'll be back in two minutes. I will, uh, actually, I'll be back in like one minute. So I'm gonna put the uh, Be Right Back screen up and um, hang tight and we'll do a giveaway as soon as I get back, all right? Be right back. Screen's not working. Bruh. Oh, well. Enjoy the chair stream. We'll be right back regardless.
All right, we back. <clears throat> Toby emotes are amazing. Yes, yes they are. I love them. Who needs a BRB screen? I know, I should have left it here, huh? Should have left it right there. Sorry. Here, I'm gonna try something real quick. This is probably a huge mistake. <laughs> My man is out. <laughs> <laughs> He gone. <laughs> Chair animated emote. I got. I need to get some animated emotes. Sleepy bird, are you still there? Would you, can we do animated emotes? I have like five animated emote slots. All right, so I need to add chair. Chair stream. All right. Added to the list. Yes, yeah, spinning chair, exactly. <laughs> what about an ink drop animation? Okay. So, yeah, I have like room for five animations. I don't have any yet, so we can do five. They take a bit longer. You know, I'm, I'm easy on time. You know, I don't think I asked you, I don't think I ever even asked you for a due date. <laughs> it's like, we just did the thing. I'm pretty easy to work with. Thought your room was much smaller. This is a big, this is a big, big room. I used to stream back when the, the pen attic thing was on the other side, back on this other, other wall here. This is a huge room. Credit card getting charged. Credit card swipe animation. Yeah, this is, we call this room the playroom. So it's a big room. Uh, credit card swipe. So apparently, uh, Sleepy Bird Art, I'm going to be emailing you this week. <laughs> yeah, I didn't move room. Well, I mean, so I had the old room when I was at my in-law's house, right? But the time when I was up against the wall and had the pin attic logo was on the opposite wall of this, this wall back here. The complete opposite wall is over there. So my desk was turned that way. So now I'm over in the corner. <clears throat> Could you animate the pen nib section? We can certainly ask. Like a nib writing. And how about a journal opening? Or... Poor sleepy bird. She didn't know what she was getting into. And then uh, ink filling. Um, you joke, Evan, but the previous owner of the house had this room set up for their kids acting. Not lying. That was 10 years ago, but the kid was doing like high school plays and stuff. They used this room for like props and, and acting. Not not even lying. <laughs> you liked having the names on the wall? We should do that again. I still need to get art behind me over here. I keep threatening back here. Like we got spaces for stuff here and there. <clears throat> All right, back to it. Oh, I said I'm going to give y'all something, right? No emotes, only money, right? Um, all right, I got to look in the bag to see what I can give y'all. Oh, okay, we can do this. Here's a fun giveaway. All right, we'll do this. Yeah, I do like this background much better i'd still like some more visuals or some lights or something you know but um we'll see bell rule thank you for the follow appreciate you enjoy your emotes we have follower emotes uh you can use now the penultimate ramen should go on the wall should i go ahead and do it now so i don't forget y'all go on ebay and find me some of these 
and I'll buy them. Or I could just email uh, Kaoru. Just found this channel. My boyfriend came in and laughed at me for watching a pin stream, but he doesn't just understand. Right? What do you know, boyfriend? This is where the pins happen. This is where the magic happens. Don't understand pin streams. Psh, please. Well, tell him that we got Lamy strawberries and cream. What does he have? We have Lamy strawberries and cream. So this is what we're going to give away. So... I picked up one of each of the new colors. Oh, we almost had a wreck. Almost had a wreck. Let's make some room for these. Berries and cream, berries and cream. We're going to let you pick which Lamy Safari you want. And as a bonus, I got the sleeves. The first batches of pins got the sleeves. <laughs> You're going to sell your sisters straight about how Kaoru married? No, because I didn't say it publicly. I said it, that was like private, like I think. That wasn't on the live show. <laughs> so there weren't many people that heard me misspeak. <laughs> so no, I don't feel the need. Mm. So we have, no, I'm going to give away, you can pick your pen um, and, I'll, and I'll give you the sleeve. So, I enjoy restoring old vintage pens. Sometimes I get upset when I start removing the previous pens' initials from the barrel. Yeah, you can keep them on there. I think a lot of people would like that. So, both of these have a fine nib. Yeah. Fine nib. You cannot mismatch the pen and sleeve. Because I'm going to give away the other set. Um... That's how you heard? I thought, but I thought that was in the post show. You're the only one that's mentioned it, so I'm, <laughs> I'm not too worried. <laughs> so, yeah. So, no, you cannot mismatch because I am going to have to give these. I'm going to have to give the other one away as well. Because I'm not going to keep either one of these this year. So, there you go. Clumsy tortoise with the seven months of seven. All right, let's do a giveaway. So I don't think I would have said that publicly. Maybe I did. Whatever. I'm pretty sure it was in the post show. Not too worried. All right. Let's give away. Yeah, Lamy made some sleeves for the last ones too. <laughs> bork and Bork, that's their challenge, right? It's like when you do that kind of stuff, you got to beat your last time. Can you see the nibs? Sure, one sec. You know, they got to beat what they did previously. Well, they set they set a really high bar, right? I uh, agree, Sarah. Like, if I'm in that meeting, we're contrasting. At minimum, the clips, if not the finials, both. But I think it's got to be both. All right. So this giveaway is open. Said exclamation point raffle. You don't hear the pre or post search stuff? Nah. Well, I don't think anyone else has said anything, so it's not not super worth it. So standard silver nibs, fine. If it comes up, I will definitely bring it up though. That was a huge mistake on my part, but a non important one, really. Thomas didn't even email me. He doesn't listen to the show. If Thomas emails me, I'll do it. And then that's the silver one for this. I messed up the blind cap on one of my Lamy Safaris trying to swap the finial. They are very difficult to swap. It can be done, like people do it, but it's a huge pain in the butt. So the winner can pick the strawberries and the sleeve or the cream and the matching sleeve. Okay. They're both a fine nibs. Can we see them with the cap swap? Sure. It would look better if the clips were swapped. Honestly. But I think clip and finial swap would have been the play. 
if I'm making these. You know, if I'm Lamy. But, like, I, this is a, the cream is actually, like, this cool vintage look. Like, I, I like the cream. You know, the red is, it's a good matte red, but they've done, like, gloss red before. All right, y'all got about 15 seconds left. Um, exclamation point raffle. Swap the sections. It should be called strawberries or cream. Right. There's not a lot of and going on here. There's no part of this that's and. All right. Entries have stopped. Who's going to win? Ink, therefore, I am. First time winner? First time winner? Maybe? It's you. It's you. You get to pick. Which setup do you like? Do you like the strawberries? Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. Do you want the strawberries or the cream? Um, you get to choose. And you get the sleeve that goes with it. First time. That's what I thought. Zero win, gang. Sorry, zero win, gang. For thinning the herds. All right. Oh, did you pick a color? Cream. I think that's the choice. All right, can we get a poll? Can we get a poll? Strawberries, Lamy, or cream Lamy? I want to see this. Give me a poll. What would you have picked? Can someone, uh, one of the mods, run a poll for me? I want to know the the breakdown. I bet it's going to be closer than you think. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> No, standard. Standard. I Because I honestly think cream is the choice. Even though the strawberry is like very stunning in its own right. Yeah, Power Belly sums up my thoughts. Cream feels different than what Lamy has done. Strawberries feels like it should be standard. All right, the poll is up. Which one? Like, I think it's going to be close to 50-50, but I think logically, I think people would, a lot of people would think, like, the strawberry would run away with it, and I just don't think it is. Like, I don't think that's the play at all. If you could only pick one, strawberry or cream. Again, I'm, like, manipulating the poll as I talk about it, but I think it's closer than people think. I would like strawberry more if I had a clean cream clip. I think they would sell more if it had a cream clip. All right, so strawberry will be a future blog giveaway. Cream goes to ink, therefore I am. Um, ink, therefore I am. And who won the first one? Where'd the first one go? Uh, Lieber, Lieber Estet. E Y'all have to email me. Um, your shipping address to hello at pinac.com if you didn't know that part. So email me your shipping address, hello at pinac.com. I thought one until I saw them on the desk and then I switched to another. Oh, Mafia Geek, they could have done so much. They could have done so much. Like instead of just just real straightforward basics. I think that's the letdown. Like good colors, good idea, and it's just kind of a, it just kind of falls flat to me. Whatever, not a big deal. All right, let's go through this. Okay, so it's essentially 50-50. Is the poll still going? Yeah. That's about what I would think is 50-50. If you would have told me to predict before this, 50-50, but public perception, I think, is more strawberry, like 75-25, or at least 60-40. All right, um, going back in the bag. Oh, since I emptied the tote, let's get a couple of these things here. random converter st louis pin show june 23rd to 26th y'all should go
There you go. STLPenshow.com. A simple 50% clip, clip swap would improve 50% of their releases. I don't disagree. I do not disagree. I don't know why I have a random converter here. Anyone heading to San Fran in August? I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do between DC and San Fran. I probably won't be at a pin show before then. <laughs> Hellfire Akari, thank you for the follow. Why are my alerts blinkitied? Blinkitied is an official word. All right. I don't know why I have a random converter in here. There you go. All right. So we have that. All right. So Van S. Penn's Healing Stone. This is one of their in-house made inks oh there's a smell to it it's very pretty i have not opened this bottle should we should we should we smell it I have not visited the London Pension before. Yeah, piney. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm smelling. Pine. If I don't smell it when I'm writing, I'm okay. Is it so or is it supposed to be a scented ink? Healing stone. Is it supposed to be piney? I have not tried it. Is it supposed to be it almost smells scented, but I wonder like if it is actually not. Um, then we have Ferris Wheel Press, a little ink sampler, KWZ Vanilla, the ink charger set. So we have, what do we have here? Bathurst Blue Denim Sparkling, Spadina Rose, Queen Allium Spark, two sparklings, one standard. Pine saw smell. No, thank you. Yeah, it does. It does smell of the pine. So cute little. I like Ferris Wheel Press's aesthetic and their little bottles, but I mean, pain in the butt, right? You got to be a pain to pain to ink. So we got Shimmer Queens. What did I say? Queens Queen Allium. So this is stuff to test out and review. I feel like Ferris wheel branding is much better than the actual products. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning, for sure, I think they've come, um, I think they've come, uh, they've made some improvements in their inks. I'm still not sure about the pen stuff. Strawberry won the poll. Mine says cream won with 51%. This looks interesting. These are the new inks. You bought them at Atlanta. Gotcha. This looks like it could be up my alley. Sparkly blue. But yeah, I mean, you're filling with syringes and yeah, I think the first batch of Ferris Wheel Press inks were super basic, which, you know, that's kind of how it starts in the beginning, right? You got to start somewhere and I think they've come around. So I do like the little bottles, but you will need to be particular about filling them. You'll need, you'll need a syringe or some type of other uh, suction device to get them out all right it's what the twisby pipe is made for right exactly so cool all right stash these there um we'll add the we'll add the tote to the uh to the ice box too ferris wheel gives me baron fig vibes in terms of branding the whole photoshopping ink samples in their kickstarter yeah that was in the beginning like i said i I give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because they've shown some improvement. The original Kickstarter was... I did not back it. I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right, so we have the inner bag. I guess I had two Dromgles bags. or is this? That was probably a Heinz bag. All right, let me get some of this stuff out over here. I back one for the cute enamel pins. Yeah, they, they did have some cool stuff. All right, this is some my stuff and some your stuff or some review stuff. Let me, let me get all this stuff out there. Oh, yeah, this is my stuff. So these were my pins and my ink. And then a bunch more Ferris wheel press samples. 
Um, we'll go over this later. Um, manganese orange. I did not know this was a thing. So I bought this. It's cool. I have this inked up. Again, my stuff. We'll talk about that later. We'll go over it and see. Um, and then my Franklin Kristoff and my Estabrook. So these are the ones that I... These are my pens. So this is just my, my boxes. In this bag. Then we have a bunch of ink samples. We got the new Venta Fairytale series samples. Uh, Kimberly has some. Um, that's that. And then more Ferris wheel press samples. So we can do these. These are like good review items, good giveaway items, stuff like that. So I don't really know all the colors. Is the olive cover going to be an FC standard now? I don't know. Is it Kimberly? It's really great. Um... Oh, that's my replacement Esterbrook nib for my needlepoint. What size is this? Medium. Could do something with that. All right. Chat. This is a real outlier for me. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But... I bought me a pen sloth nib. I'm gonna focus. So we have a stacked nib I bought from Damien. I had all in the nib, had some of Jim's pen sloth nibs. Um, I am slowly losing my mind that I have a Naganata Togi grind, and now I have this wide double stacked nib here and I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> slowly yes slowly so a Brad broad nibs can be cool I know I I understand that I just write so much and I don't enjoy writing with big nibs like this but if I have something to do with this like purpose like if I have a purpose for this but it's hard to say, hey, I'm going to spend as much money as this costs, right? This is like a hunt. For those who don't know, this is like a $160 nib, right? Because it's layered and stacked and welded and modified and all of these things, right? This is like a mega hack on a nib. So where do I justify that type of money for something that I'm not going to use essentially daily, right? So... I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, whether I'm going to use it, review it, give it away somehow. But I definitely wanted to support Damien and Pinsloth that, you know, they were able to work together to get Damien some nibs to sell. So these are Yovo nib units. So right, it'll fit right in my Esterbrook. Send it to you to review. You'll take it. Yeah, I think a lot of, excuse me, I think a lot of people will enjoy it. So I have to decide what to do. So that's the one thing I haven't mentioned that I bought yet. But I wanted to support both of them. And I wanted to, to try them. Two-layer nag. So I'm guessing this is a two-layer Naganata Togi. It is a business expense. I mean, it does go on in through the Pen Addict uh, accounting. So yeah. But we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. We're not going to raffle this one off. I will most certainly review it somehow, either myself or someone else. It's going to take some, I should probably do it myself just to see if that's something that I want personally. Like, does this work for me or does this not is probably the real question that we're going to answer. You know, is this, is this worth me spending this kind of money for my personal use, right? So it's that, like Molly's saying, that ex experimentation aspect. Um, so that's one of the good things about going to a pen show, right? Is I can get out to the, uh, to see all these vendors and see these cool things. Like I, this wasn't on my list to buy, right? But now, 
Yeah, he's going to offer them semi-regularly, but he usually can only get one or two at a time, Bork and Bork, right? Just because they're hard to make. That's why they're so expensive, right? Highlighter headings, art, Sharpie replacement. So I have... There's one little text I wrote that made me go, okay, I like this Naganatogi. Look at that Cheerio water bus. That was just me playing around, testing. So that's a mini Naganatogi. Not the nib I just showed you, but I have another mini Naganatogi. Look how that works for my handwriting. It just works. That's not, that's not this nib. It's a different, not, this isn't this nib. That's a different nib I have in another pen, and it's it's mini. It's mini. So it's like, I can be tempted. I can be tempted. So we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do with that. <laughs> Copper Moth Streams, thank you for the follow. Um, sorry stuff. Whoops. Okay. Um, oh, another Venta. Um, I bought, I did buy this one to, to, to use or review or Mike did order some more, but it'll take, oh, the Cheerio water bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piloncitos. I have no idea. Basically this looks like the Venta Armada that I like, but with shimmer. So this, um, it's a really neat color. Welcome to the stream. Copper moth. Appreciate you. Yeah, so this has this is kind of like the Venta Armada, but has a little bit of shimmer in it, and I, it look it, the swatch looked cool, so I got that. We'll see what to do. Pilon Citos is so good, so I might have a pen that could be inked up in, and I'll show you that next. Um, so Stacy Robinson, um, I was standing there, and just looking at these materials. So this is uh. Pins by Design and Pins with a Z. Pins, P-E-N-Z by Design, I believe is Stacy's um, website. So he does machine pins out of Atlanta and gets really neat materials. Hey, Miss Kimber, good morning. Um, so, you know, maybe this one gets the big nib and with the piloncitas. Uh, once you get the emotes done, you need to work on channel point redeems. That's a good point. How many pins did you get? At least two. At least two. I don't, I'm not sure all of these are mine or that I'm keeping all of these. Um, so this is a really neat, like, Conway Stewart material that's just kind of, like, I couldn't put this one down. I was like, you know, I have a lot of standard, like, acrylic pins. But, uh, yeah, Pilon Citos, I think, is newish. And it, it stopped me to get composted. I was like, I don't need this. And then I just looked at it and it was like, Phew. gorgeous and understated. I think that's a good way to put this. Like, I don't understand this pen and why I like it so much. It's just like, and the price, um, I think was $125. Like, and his Ebonite ones were $150. And there was actually a second material, like a celluloid material that I, I couldn't, like, I was not going to buy them both. It was, like, late. This was, like, after I'd bought all the other stuff. But, yeah. Like, it's a really, really great pen. You know, standard, basic, traditional shape, which, again, I love. You know, slight taper in the section, but not too much. Just kind of an all-around really nice pen, right? Really good craftsmanship. The fit and finish is spot on. I don't know. I got to figure out. I don't know what I'm doing with all these. So back to your question, Tessa. Gosh, how many pens did you buy? I have the stuff that I bought for myself. And these things are not necessarily for me, right? They're for review, for blog, for giveaway, for stuff. But man, this one's tough. Like, I really like this. It's, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool pen. A bunch of people ended up buying a lot of these pens. Um, I know Joe bought some. I know my friend Sandra bought some. I, there was a bunch. And then I have a second Tesori. So um, I bought one Tesori, and then he gave me the second one for a giveaway. Uh, it's, so it's Stacy Robinson is the owner, and it's Pens by Design, P-E-N-Z by Design. 
I believe. Yeah, we'll have to check that while we're in here. Be careful. Maybe do that in private no, private mode on your Google Chrome or something. But I think that's what it is. Pens by design, P-E-N-Z. Um, this one's very similar. You need an ostrich pen sleeve now? Yeah, that just comes with it. It's like, cool. <laughs> Orange, of course. What does your FC pen look like? I will show you that uh, after. So I got a second to Sori. I kind of did a, like a one for me. He's he. I bought one and then he gave me one to give away. Um, I think if I keep one, I think it's going to be this one. So this reminds me a lot of this pen, right? Not the same depth, but the same kind of brown and green and orange, but just in a different tone, right? Um, also with the with the glass, the Italian glass finial that I can't pronounce. I'll let y'all pronounce that for me or I'll let y'all at least type it. Isn't that pretty? And like this one doesn't have a secret on the bottom. Like the blue one, blue green one. Um, really, really, really neat, really nice. And I like these. I guess these are Yovo nibs, but they're like, um, they're smooth. I gotta, I gotta ask about that. So I like these. Millefiori. I know. I just can't say it. It's a Bach nib, so the box comes smooth like that. You can get some smooth ones. <laughs> so yeah, really pretty. Thank you, Mafia Geek. The feed is different. It's a Bach. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh yeah, because it doesn't have a nib size on it. So yeah, like how would I know? <laughs> Come on, Bach. I would like your nib size. So anyway, uh, look at this. That's just cool. That's a really neat material. So I like the size and shape of these and then the little added Milli Vanilli up here. It's really cool. I like the orange. So, and again, pin sleeve, kimono, whatever you want to call it. They're nice blank nibs. I like the shape of the Bach nibs. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, so it was really nice uh, to do a giveaway. So we're going to talk about his um, UK Ukrainian pin fundraiser. We'll have to pull that up. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow um, on stream because we're going to bring it up on the podcast tomorrow. So John's uh, Ukrainian pin fundraiser is pretty wild. And I think it's got a few days left. <clears throat> How many vendors at the Atlanta show do you think will be at St. Louis? St. Louis will have more vendors than the Atlanta show. St. Louis is a little bigger. Thank you, Coco Lena. St. Louis is a little bit bigger um, show than Atlanta vendor-wise. I would bet almost all of these vendors that were in Atlanta will be um, at St. Louis outside of maybe like Mythic Pins, Jonathan Brooks. I don't know what like some of those makers schedule. Um, but yeah, so that Hello Tello Studio, the Ukrainian pin, is it still open? I think it, we had a few more days. I was hoping it would, we had a few more days. Oh, I clicked your wrong link. I see now. Yeah, that's a different studio. Um, April 19th. Okay. So they're doing lots of different prizes. So like this was the first pin that, that John made um, for this pin. And now other vendors are coming through. I love this Hardy Pen Rights. Pen is really rad. So we're going to talk about this on the podcast tomorrow. <laughs> That's a really great pen from Hardy. And then there's more. River City Pen Co. Hooligan Pen. So there's lots of different things on here. It's Right Turns Pen. And uh, so, yeah, John does a lot of stuff like this. Interesting dude to talk to. So I'll, I'll be talking with him uh, a bunch more. So there you go. So definitely go check that out. Um, All the bags are empty, chat. All the bags are empty. We did it. We did it. Um... 
thirsty. Hey, in only two hours. Not bad. So, oh, um, Tessa wanted to see my Franklin Kristoff. Let me um, let me relocate a couple of these things, and then I'll show you the pins that were my pins that I bought for um, myself. Um, the rest of the stuff is undecided. It's mostly review giveaway stuff, right? So I'll, I'll show you all real quick what I, a, a closer look, because uh, Test Stitch wanted to see the Franklin Chris stuff. Let me just figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I guess we're going back in the bag. Let's see. This. This. That's a lot of pins. I need a sleeve for this narwhal. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to. I don't want to steal that giveaway. Clip it to the side. Swag bag, stuff bag, loot bag. Okay. Um, my pen. Yeah, the Olive. Pretty crazy. I definitely got penabled for the Olive. <laughs> so. That is my Model 46 Olive. It comes in other models, plenty of models. Um, well, I don't know, plenty, but more than this model, right? And then I got the Black Nib. And then I got an extra fine SIG grind on it. This is, yeah, the Orange Ink, the decision... Uh, the popular one at the show was Platinum Citrus Black, which is a favorite of mine. It's a very matchy-matchy, but I went for the alternate. Um, Thunder Viking, if I saw this online, I don't know that I would have jumped at it. But when I saw it in person, I was like, ah, that's pretty good. So I in inked this up with the manganese. I did ink up Mandarin in the uh, Sailor. So the pens I bought for myself were this one. And then this Brooks Charleston. This is the Naganata Togi with the Cheerio Water Bus. Let me get something to write on. Like here it looks less green. It is really green in person, very olive -y. I don't know. I think the color on the screen is pretty representative. PA Model 46, we could. I got two other things in the work right now. The opuses are almost done. The Opi. The Opi 88s are almost done. Um, they'll probably be, be ready in May. So. Probably all of my nibs could be SIG extra fine nibs. Pickle juice? Yeah, that's a good pickle juice. So the manganese orange is definitely like the Ackerman number 16. Um, it's a really, really bright orange. Different than uh, Fire on Fire. But that's all that nib writes. And then we have... So this is a Naganata Togi grind, but it's smaller. So I got this done by Matthew Chin, Pactagon. So it's on a broad nib, which isn't the full complement of tip sizing. Let 
but I like how it writes. It's kind of like a, to me, it's kind of just offhand, kind of like a rounder. Um, manganese orange is Mont Blanc, which I didn't even know existed. Is that like a new, I don't even know if it's a new color or an old color. Um, So you can do different width lines, depending on how you hold it. If you hold it at a high angle, the lines are finer. If you hold it at a flat angle, the lines are wider. Tiny Badge with 18 months of subbing. What's up, Tiny Badge? You can even flip it over. So you can get a lot of different line variation in it, more so than like an architect, which is just kind of a flat, single single angle pin it's almost like a architect with a rock like a rocking chair in it is the way i think about it so i like it it's been fun to write with so will i like the the bigger the bigger wider one uh from pen sloth who knows but this one's really cool i'm very happy with this Newest color from a couple years ago when they were revamping their standard line. Gotcha. So is that a, a standard release ink? I have never heard of it until I ran across it on the shelf at the at the show. Um, and then I bought... These are the other two pens I bought. So this is my stuff. This is the stuff I bought. So the um, Esterbrook prototype... What would you compare manganese orange to? Um, Ackerman number 16. It's a very um, traffic cone orange. It's very bright. Um, let me see. I have fire on fire. So this is... Let's see. It's subtle differences. Let's see if I can get any kind of representation here. So this is manganese. And this is so for like fire on fire is a little bit darker, like more red, I believe. Yeah, I think it definitely matches uh, Ackerman Orange Bovin. Bovin. I'll, I'll give you a close-up here in a second. And then this is uh, Edelstein Mandarin. Which is a little bit more apricotty. Let's see if I can show you these. Thank you for the fire on fire. Nice. All right, so the manganese, it looks like on the screen, it looks close to Fire on Fire. Um, it is definitely brighter. As someone who's like really into the oranges, the manganese is a much more orangey orange, and the Fire on Fire is an orange with a hint of red, and then the Mandarin is orange with a hint of yellow, right? So like I can tell the difference between all of these in person. Um, the manganese is definitely leans more orange boven, um, the fire on fire leads more like Fuyugaki, Yuyaki combination in there. And then, um, Mandarin is like a little darker than Sailor Apricot. So there you go. There you go. So, um, anyway, this is the, I'm calling this great, great wave for now. And this is the needlepoint grind. So this is the Kirk Spear needlepoint And this has the Sutsuki in it. So this is. So this is that little needle. Needle 
point there. And then I got Kirk to do a, also grind me a needle point on my Lamy Safari that I've already moved into this pin, Savannah Green. You're not gonna show it, are you? There you go. So similar, similar type of grind. Um, and this is so the um, the safari is ground finer than the needle point. Um, so his like I got him to grind this finer than the, the Esterbrook needlepoint he's doing. Um, so, because that's how I like it, right? So he did a little bit less needly on the Esterbrook model than he would do if you did it in person. But they're both really good. Really, really sharp. So. Um... And then I have another Curse of Italic ink that uh, nib that Damien did for me in my pilot. I have not inked that up yet because I have too many pens inked up right now. So there you go. And that's the Habanero. So this is the um, the standard size with the 21 karat nib. And the extra fine nib got me. Um, I mean, aside from the orange aesthetic. Um, I saw it sitting there with an EF on the tag. And I was like, son of a gun. I was like, I should have that. And so I did. This was kind of like my one, you know... Like, I really hesitated. It's like, ah, should I spend that money? Should I spend that money? It, it feels a little bit finer. It could be the ink, right? It could be the ink. No, I actually cleaned some pens yesterday to ink all this stuff up. So, yeah, maybe they're same. But I think by the end, I think we got the Lamy Safari nib slightly finer. But, I mean, it's pretty marginal, right? It feels sharper. Maybe it's not finer. It's a balance, get composted. It's a balance of, hey, look at all these. This is how I write, you know, normally. Like, I just, like, when I set up my planner for the week, like, this is what I like to see. Do any of y'all have all this crap in the back of your planners like I do? Haban so, habanero. I should say it habanero, not habanero. Habanero. So like, this is like normal for me, right? Like I'm good with this, right? This was like normal writing for me. Like I'm, yeah, like I'm down with that. So, but then I get these nibs out and I kind of like this, you know, just fun to play with. But like, I wouldn't use that in my planner, this nib, because I don't have enough room. <laughs> I bought the Tangerine King of Pen from Drum Ghouls. That's such a good pen. Actually, I bought mine from them two years ago. Help me, I just bought two more Frank and Kristoff 45s. RIP. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up there, chat. Let's go see if we can... Uh, this is a good stream. Good to be back on stream today. We're definitely streaming Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, yeah. we. Oh, so those NEMA scenes... Hey, while I'm thinking about it, the NEMA scenes should fit in those uh, Tesori pins, right? Those Bach nib pins. I should be able to fit those in there, right? If I wanted to. Since we're talking about those Nemocene nibs fit the box settings easier, that might be perfect. That could be really smart. When are the Opus ready? It looks like they're going to ship to me by the end of the month. So probably May sometime. <laughs> Thank you so much, Molly. I appreciate it. This was, it was fun to get back on stream today. Went to jet pens to look up the specs. Rip. I did that too. So I have a jet pens box over here. So Thursday, I have some new stuff to go through. Um, I bought those note cards from Nero's Notes. I already forgot the name. Flow Millie or whatever. Um, and then I bought that I bought that Lamy Safari, uh, the new architecty Lamy Safari nib. I am not going to the Chicago Pen Show. I cannot make it bad dates 
I am so glad you like them, Tess. I, Tess, I enjoy them so much. Like, crazy, crazy enjoy them. Um, yeah, I'm, I really appreciate your support. JD Lady, 44 months of seven, let's go. Oh, we almost had a Toby bark. He, he didn't like it when I did the let's go thing, like a howl. He went, Pfft. All right, see y'all, see y'all. All right, um, should we go see I Paint Burbs? We haven't thrown it to I Paint Burbs recently. Yeah, he did not like that. He like snorted and I woke him up. He was asleep. All right, we'll go throw it to I Paint Burbs. Liz is dope. She makes dope art and y'all should go say hey. Uh, How do we do this now? Stream manager. Toby did not bark today. Sorry, buddy. You didn't bark. You did a good boy. He's like, bruh, leave me alone. Toby, did you know everyone has cartoon pictures of you now on the computer? Did you ever think that when you were born? He's literally closing his eyes as I'm talking to him. That's how things roll around here. He's like, I don't want to hear your nonsense, dude. <laughs> All right, y'all go say hey to Liz. She's painting burbs. She always paints burbs, and she paints the dopest burbs. So y'all go hang out. Check out the burbs. Tell her I said hi. Y'all have a good one. Talk to y'all later. Bye.